yesterday I had therapy and I was able to talk with my therapist about um, some of the feelings I was having about like uh, <laughs> about not not losing as much weight as I expected or wanted to lose and um, just trying to learn how to reframe my thought process when it comes to the scale and my goals and I just I kind of realized that um, a part of this journey is healing that that toxic relationship that I have with the scale um, we started to talk about okay so when you get on the scale what uh, and it doesn't say what you wanted to say what are your thoughts and I was like I start to self blame I start to analyze everything what did I eat I must have not eaten um, <laughs> I must have eaten too much I must have not worked out enough I must not have drank enough water it was me it was my fault it had to be my fault and she told me to reframe those into questions so you can really analyze well did I eat too much the answer is no <laughs> this really is no I I watched what I ate I wasn't eating nearly as much as I could have or used to eat um did I drink enough water I drank a lot of damn water <laughs> I really did did I work out Y'all seen the last 30, 31 days, okay? Uh, so that answer is yes. So when you do self-blame, that leaves absolutely no room for grace. Give yourself grace when you're trying to lose weight. And the scale, I, I've realized that like, like I said, I'm not gonna get on it as much. Um, I do. I am, I am interested in the number uh, because for me but yeah allowing yourself the grace I told her I only lost four pounds I mean not four I'm sorry eight pounds in this uh, four weeks this last four weeks and she said only <laughs> and I'm like okay yes she was like do you know how much I lost 0.5 pounds <laughs> so, so allowing yourself to um to celebrate the little victories just getting up and doing what you got to do with the victory in and of itself she suggested maybe putting uh some kind of positive note on the scale something that's talks about how you feel how do you feel the scale don't tell you how you feel how how many times you woke up all the things you sacrificed it does not tell you any of that so don't let that scale get you down okay and so is it really about the number we put a lot of emphasis on those numbers on the specific goal weight and for me, I used to have a particular number in mind, but now it's more so about, I wanna look a certain way. So that, <laughs> that obviously comes with the weight loss. She also said, if you do get on the scale, try to sandwich <laughs> the results with positive affirmations. So, you know, say something positive about yourself, like, uh, you know, I'm that bitch. <laughs> I did great this week. Regardless of what this scale says, I'm that girl. Then step on that scale, get that number, and then say something else positive, <laughs> regardless of what that number is. <laughs> Another positive affirmation i'm still that bitch like, i don't know say something else so just continue to stay positive and again uh i will definitely try to continue to focus more so on the journey than the number on the scale stay positive stay focused 
and like I said I realized that mending my toxic relationship with the scale is a part of this journey and it should not be skipped it is an important part so we healing and we doing it let's go